This is a Sazerac, and even though it's America's oldest cocktail, it's able to stand up to the modern heavyweights. Let me show you how to make it. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and like I said, this week we're making what might be America's oldest cocktail, the Sazerac. So let me get into a little bit of the history of the cocktail. Now, there are a few bits of debate online about where this cocktail exactly comes from, who was the first person to make it, what exactly were the ingredients in the original uh, Sazerac cocktail, but there's a few kind of commonalities running through the history. So it comes from New Orleans, it most likely used brandy or cognac in the original uh, cocktail, but as cognac became a bit hard to find, they did eventually start substituting in rye or bourbon, and that's where we get a lot of today's modern variations of the Sazerac. So you'll get versions that have bourbon, rye, and cognac. You'll get versions that have just cognac, or cognac and bourbon, or cognac and rye, in various different kind of combinations. But me, personally, I like a split base between cognac and rye, because this cocktail also has an absinthe wash on the glass of the cocktail. So absinthe, if you're not really familiar with it, has this kind of deep, kind of earthy, herbal note to it, which also rye has. It has this kind of menthol, kind of eucalyptus, really kind of earthy spiciness to it. So I think if you go in with completely rye, it does have too much of that herbal note and just kind of overpowers it a little bit. So I prefer going in with half bourbon, half rye and half cognac into my cocktail. One other important thing that the cocktail uses is Peychaud's bitters, which is these just kind of like New Orleans style aromatic bitters. It also uses Angostura bitters, but the Peychaud's really does lend us that little bit of extra earthiness. It's less spicy than the Angostura. It does have a bit more aromatics in it to me than the classic Angostura bitters. So it does add a little bit more of a rounded note to the cocktail. So that's enough talking. Let's get to making our drink. We're gonna start off with an absinthe wash in our glass. So I've had this glass chilling in the fridge, so it is gonna be nice and cold. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of absinthe in there and run it around the inside of the glass. So this is from the Rebel City Distillery down in Cork here in Ireland. It's a very, very nice absinthe. Actually does have a nice bit of flavor without just being a huge amount of alcohol. So I'm gonna just done my absinthe wash. I'm gonna pour that out into a little shot so I can have as a little chaser later on. And now we're gonna make the rest of our cocktail. It starts off in a mixing glass and we're gonna drop a sugar cube into there. On top of the sugar cube, we're gonna go in with three dashes, one, two, three, of our Peychaud's bitters, and then two dashes of our Angostura bitters, one, two. And then we're actually gonna muddle this sugar cube down, which is just breaking it up, making it nice and mixed with all those aromatics in the uh, bitters there. Okay, that only took a couple of seconds, and I can already smell there's a huge amount of flavor coming out of that glass. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add an ice cube into our mixing glass, and then we're gonna add our spirits, stir it down, and strain it out. So this is gonna be one ounce or 30 ml of our rye whiskey. I'm using Sazerac rye whiskey, because it comes in at 45% ABV. It has a nice bit of weight, has a nice bit of rye profile, and it's of course the Sazerac whiskey. And then I'm gonna use Hennessy, cognac in there because, like I said, I like splitting my base, so that was one ounce of our rye, so we're gonna go in with one ounce of our cognac into there. And then we're just gonna stir this down for about 20, 25 seconds until we get it nice and cold, and then we'll be able to enjoy our cocktail. Okay, I can feel from the outside of the glass that this is getting nice and chilled now, so we're gonna just pour our cocktail out into our chilled glass, and then we're gonna garnish it with the oils of a lemon peel. Now, one interesting thing, about this cocktail is that there are those non-dissolved little bits of sugar still at the bottom of our mixing glass and they've now made their way into the cocktail itself. So as you drink this cocktail, as it goes on, it'll get a little bit sweeter, it'll evolve a little bit in the glass and it'll just make for a more fun drink. So we're just gonna express the oils of a lemon over the top, drop in our lemon peel just for a bit of extra flavor and that right there is a Sazerac. Now real quick, before I taste this cocktail, if you're new here, scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. I put out cocktail recipes on Fridays, whiskey reviews on Wednesdays. So if you wanna see more, make sure you hit subscribe. Cheers. That's a good cocktail. It has this nice kind of earthiness to it, a nice bit of like herbal note coming through, it's kind of running through the cocktail, but it's not overly dry. So if you know like Campari or Aperol, 
they're quite herbal, they're quite aromatic, but they're very dry. This isn't really a dry cocktail. Yeah, I mean, you've got the herbal notes coming through from the absinthe, from the bitters, from the rye, but splitting the base to the cognac means it's not too far in that one direction. Having the bit of the sugar cube in there really does just kind of add a nice bit of sweetness and then the lemon oils give it a little bit of zing. Yeah, it's just a very nice, kind of easy to enjoy cocktail. You can definitely see why this is one of those cocktails that has stood the test of time. You know, it was made, it's apparently America's oldest cocktail, but it was made a long time ago and it's still enjoyed today because it's just a very nice balance of flavors across the board, very easy to enjoy. And I think you'd like it. If you've made a Sazerac before, if you've got a different kind of recipe for your Sazerac, make sure to let me know down in the comments below because I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you next time. Sláinte.